guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so it's finally time to go to the gym, and uh, it is finally time to go meet up with our girlfriend, Skyla, because she's been waiting for us for quite some time. We gotta get our seventh badge. We gotta take care of business right here, guys. Lots and lots of business. So after going into the Celestial Tower, you are enabled to go to Mr. Elton City Gym, and it's a doozy because you're gonna be launching off of cannons and all that crud. Now, if you're afraid of heights, please do not go in here. The journey's over and all that crud. Let's see. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Please take care. Of, take this fresh water. You're awesome. You're very, very awesome. Okay, so just between you and me, rock, electric, ice, flying types have more weaknesses than people know about. If you use Pokemon and moves of those types, victory is practically yours. By the way, to proceed in this gym, you climb in the cannons, move forward, and the cannons uh, go up, down, left, and right. You can get uh, in them from anywhere, which is true. Very, very true. Actually, I like this puzzle better than the Pokemon Black and White 2 version. Trust me, guys. Pokemon Black and White 2 version, oh my god. Oh my god. I literally had to use Walk Through Walls cheat just to get by. Yeah, I did it. So, sue me. Okay, so let's go straight in here to the cannon and like uh, see where this goes. Holy crud. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay, so where are we gonna be going? We're gonna be going in here and bam! Launches us right here and uh, let's see. We have to go straight back. Actually, hold on. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. We could have. No, actually, we're gonna have to go back right here. So let's go inside right here and see if it launches us somewhere else. Oh damn. Oh damn. And there we go. We're right in front of somebody. Now, he did say this gym is weak to flying, or this this gym is flying type Pokemon. So, we do have the capabilities. We do have a rock type, or rock moves, electric type moves, and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and just beat everybody down and get the Skyla. We need to get the Skyla. What do you think about the cannons? Isn't it great that you can experience how to fly a Pokemon feel? Our flying Pokemon field. Next experience the feeling of losing the Pokemon battle. Well, I felt a handful of those. If you guys go, like, refer back to my first episode of Pokemon Yellow, I lost to Gary. Yeah. I felt a little, uh, sore about that, so I'd rather not you remind me of that. So let's go right ahead and take on this Tranquil. Alright, Tranquil. Looking at you dead in the eye. Let's go with the Charge Beam. And yes, of course, you're gonna be using a Detect. You a-hole Pokemon you. So let's go right ahead and do this again. Charge Beam, and hopefully my stats go up. And, uh, yes, it does go up. So he does have multiple Pokemon. I won't be afraid of that. Okay. Alrighty, let's go right ahead. Let's get this. Another Charge Beam. Finish this guy off. Yes, buddy. Alright, critical hit. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And Tranquil is another Tranquil is coming out, and uh, this guy looks the same too. Now remember, Tranquil I think has wait. Actually, I was wrong. There's two forms of unpheasant. I don't know which one is which though. And look at that Tranquil getting its butt kicked by uh, Gigalith right here. Yeah, buddy. Oh right. And look at that Sign of the Torrent grows to level 39. And yes, you were blown away. What's up? Okay, so let's uh, let's go right ahead and find some more trainers to battle, and uh, let's see. Actually, this time, let's go with uh, Drillmonger right here. Actually, I didn't want to put him right there. Let's go Drillmonger right here, and uh, let's talk to this guy. In order to jump higher, I am practicing really hard. You know what you could do is you could do a lot of squats. A lot of uh, yeah, a lot of training like that. So here we go. Brady wants to battle, and he's coming out with a ducklet. Now this right here is kind of a surprise to me because my Drillmonger is weak against water type Pokemon. So let's go with uh, Rock Slide, and yes, it's going first. Yeah, buddy. Look at that ducklet defeated. And uh, let's see, Woobat's coming out. So we're just gonna take care of business right now with more Wo uh, Rock Slides right here. Rock Slide. Get it. And there we go. No more Woobat. What's so woo about the Woobat? I don't know. And Drumlonger nearly grows to level 36, which I think it learns a move right there. I don't know. I could be wrong. Now let's go right here and see where it takes us now. 
Come on, take me somewhere good. And Jesus, okay, alrighty. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Sheer Force now. Let's go with the uh, Hot Shot and see what this guy does. This beast of a Pokemon do. It, it looks crazy. Alrighty, I became a pilot, which has been my dream since I was a child. I'm extremely strong. Bring it on. All right, bring it. Just bring it. Now, I have heard of the Galarian versions of Darumaka and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, what you call it, and then uh, in, in this Pokemon right here too. Now Pokemon, I completely completely forgot its name. Hold on, hold on. See, you see how forgetful I am. Jesus. Okay, so let's see. Hot chat. Uh, check moves. Yeah, I completely forgot its name. Darumaka. <laughs> I, I, I completely forgot the name of this Pokemon right here, so that's why I call it Hotshot, so I can remember it and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I checked out the, the Galarian versions of these Pokemon. They actually turn into Ice-type Pokemon. Now, if you guys can comment down below and tell me what else, like, what capabilities it has for, uh, for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Like, uh, what's the difference between, you know, this version and the Galarian version? So, aside from the, the you know, the, uh, the Fire-type Pokemon. Is it a little bit weaker? Is it stronger? I don't know. Just, uh, just let, let, let a brother know. Let a brother know downstairs. And uh, let's see, we're gonna be going with Ace right here. Still trying to teach it some kind of awesome move. Some pretty awesome move right here. So here we go, Ace Stoutland from Scotland. And here comes a Siglyph, looking like a Gigalift. Now the tables are turned, let's go with the takedown attack. There we go. Very physical attack right there, and uh, He's gonna come out with the reflect. Gonna use the crunch attack right there. Could have. Could have, could have, could have. So here we go. Crunch attack. Let's get this. And there goes the second lift. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. And look at that. Pilot Ted has been defeated. Happy about that. Now, before you guys start, like, yelling at me for not knowing what my Pokemon's real name is, or bird names, let's see. What is it? Ah, Darmanian. Darma Darmanitan. <laughs> Ugh, God, that's what happens when you don't sleep. Again, guys, I've been, uh, yeah, I'm doing an all-nighter, if you guys don't know. An all-nighter just to get uh, as many op episodes uh, recorded for you guys. That way, you know, whenever this whole COVID-19 thing ends, yeah, you guys can have uh, plenty of episodes, and I don't have to worry about, uh, I won't have to worry about, you know, uh, uploading any kind of, or making any uh, videos and all that stuff. So let's go back again and see where this actually takes me. Actually, hold on. Uh, okay, so where in the hell? Okay, so oh damn. Okay, I didn't see it. Okay, I see where I see where, where I went wrong. It's usually hidden. It really is. It's usually hidden. But if you go to the side of this one right here, it will actually take you to the other, like this uh, the northernmost part right here. So as you can see, go right there, and it's gonna launch me all the way over there. I must be getting sick to my stomach and. Go up here. Look at that. All right, so we got another pilot right here, and uh, let's see. Uh, that will probably not do anything. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Who hasn't battled yet? I can't use Shatter because uh, Homie, Homie's a fighting type Pokemon. So let's go. Target Lark acquired. I will shoot you down with my flight technique. Whatever you say, homeboy. Whatever you say. Alrighty. Let's get this. Going up against Pilot Chase. He's looking very professional. And look at this. First time we're looking at an unpheasant right here. And I think... Now, correct me if I'm wrong. The male unpheasant looks like that or the female unpheasant? Comment down below, guys. Very, very... Uh, I'm so confused about that. Very confused. So here we go. Slash attack. And unpheasant uh, takes that. And uh, what, what's going on right here? Is that a taunt? Seriously, you fell for the taunt? Why would you fall for the why would you fall for the taunt? Come on, Sai. You're better than that. Here we go. And good guy. Nearly beats him. So here comes that air slash. Alrighty. Alright, here we go again. Another razor shell. Let's get this. That's right, buddy. And this Sai kicks everybody's butt right there. That's good. That's very, very good. Okay. Alrighty, so let's move on right here. This will actually take us... Oh, damn. Close to being sick to my stomach right there. And this guy's waiting for us. So 
Let's go back to the revolving door that is a uh, drill monger right here. Okay, let's go. Let's see what this guy has. Alright, let's see. My plans are perfectly honed. I cannot lose. Can? Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's up, what's up right here. So, here we go. Worker Arnold would like to battle, and uh, he's going to be coming out with his own bird Pokemon. Oh, not bird Pokemon, but Swoobat right here. Alright, Swoobat. Let's see what you get. Alright, Rock Slide. And what did it just do? It just increased something. Oh yeah, it's an amnesia. So here we go, rock slide. Getting that. Yeah, buddy. Swoobat. That's right, Swoobat. And look at that. Drillmonger grows to level 36. Getting more powerful and is finally learning an earthquake. Okay. Alrighty. We don't need dig anymore. I don't think we've used it quite some time, but you know, earthquake is a big, big jump right there. So Drillmonger, you're kicking butt right now. That's good. The only part is that we can't use Earthquake against these Pokemon. Kind of sucks. It really sucks. Alright, so let's move on right here. Where will this take us? Oh, wow. Kind of reminds me of that Nintendo 64 Superman game that nobody likes. Oh my god, here we go again. Oh crud, oh crud. Oh god. Oh god, okay. Getting a little sick to my stomach right there. And here we go again. Oh my god. Oh wow. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. Why in the hell would you do that to me? God dang, Skyla. And here we go. Mmm. I'm here, baby. <laughs> so here's Skyla. Ready to beat us or ready to challenge us and all that stuff. So before we do anything, let's go right ahead and, and uh, heal our Pokemon because uh, we don't want to go in there all injured and stuff and then have her just take advantage of us. So. Okay, we can go with Psy, Gigalift, and Ace. Really, we only need one Pokemon for this. There's one, one good Pokemon that we're ready for this one. And hold on just a sec. Let's see. Gonna get to the Blibipedia. Yeah, I should be more prepared for this all, uh, this stuff right here. Let's just, uh, let's just do that while I stare at Skyla for just a little bit. And here we go. Alrighty, okay. Let's go to the in-games right here, and, uh, okay, let's do this. What's up, baby? Hey, hey, I've been waiting for you. You have been, huh? Did you enjoy flying with your, uh, with the help of, uh, the Mr. Allerton gym cannons? No, I've been sick to my, st and what the hell is that, uh, me, like, hitting the wall? That was not fair. <sighs> okay, I forgive you. They're my pride and joy. They should be. This time, let's try something else. Alrighty, here we go, guys. Gym battle number six against her girlfriend, Skyla. She's looking like a mm, nice piece of eye candy right there. Mm, 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 mm. Here we go, Swoobat coming out. Alright, Swoobat. You don't like me, and I don't like you. But here comes Drillmonger. Oh, yes, homeboy is looking beefy and all that stuff. Alright, moving into the next screen right here, guys. As you can see, we're facing Gym Leader Skyla, the Flying-type Gym Leader. She does have Flying-type Pokemon. Two out of the three Pokemon have secondary typings, or actually all three of them have secondary typings. It's just, two of them are pretty good. Her first Pokemon, Swoobat, at level 33. It is both a Psychic and Flying-type Pokemon. Its ability is unaware. It has four good moves, Acrobatics, Amnesia, Assurance, and Heart Stamp. Remember, Acrobatics, is kind of like Volt Switch. It hits you once, and then it switches out to the next Pokemon right there. Now, her second Pokemon right here is Unpheasant. It is both a normal and flying type Pokemon, and its ability is Big Beaks. It does have Leer, Quick Attack, Air Slash, and Razor Wind. Keep an eye out for Ra uh, Razor Wind or Air Slash. They're pretty high on critical hits and all that crud. And her final Pokemon, Swanna, at level 35. It is both a water and flying type Pokemon. It has a keen eye, so don't try and lower its, a lower its accuracy. It has Aqua Ring, Aerial Ace, Bubble Beam, and Air Slash. As you guys already know, Aerial Ace doesn't miss. Aqua Ring will try and heal it every single time. Bubble Beam is a pretty good special attack, and of course, Air Slash is high on, high on uh, critical hits. So let's move on right here. Let's go ahead and beat these girls one by one with Rock-type moves, since we do have that. Now, I didn't say this, but yes, Rock-type, Electric-type, Ice-type Pokemon, those are some good Pokemon that you can actually use 
to beat these Pokemon right here. Look at that. One attack at a time, and look at that. Psy becomes the first Pokemon to get to the level 40 club, and here she comes out with Swanna. I am taking a risk because Drillmonger is weak against water type Pokemon. Swanna right here kind of looks like it has big boobies right there. Kind of does, but it's taking its rock slide and nearly fades, and here comes. Uh oh, Bubble Beam. And uh, that nearly takes me out. Oh yeah, fabulous trainer like you. It's like I'm walking on air. Oh damn, she's giving me compliments and all that stuff. I feel special. I feel damn special right there. And as you probably already know, gym leaders like to heal their Pokemon, so don't be surprised if Swana uh, gets healed up. And look at that, critical hit takes care of that big booby duck Pokemon right there. Oh yes, and here he or here she comes out with Unpheasant. And Unpheasant. I think I'm answering my own question right here. I think unpheasant females look like that. All right, let's finish her off. One more rock slide, and here comes a critical, or no, not a critical hit, but a quick attack. And it gets damaged twice because of a rocky uh, helmet, and look at that. Rock slide nearly beats it. Let's go finish it off with the metal claw right here. Ah, oh, crud. Just when I thought I had it defeated. So here we go, metal claw. Let's get this. Rock slide one more time, and uh, here comes that quick uh, quick attack. But it gets hurt because of the rocky helmet, and god dang it, you're getting saved. You're getting saved, you a-hole, you unpheasant, and uh, look at that. It puts me in the red, but it still gets hurt, and look at that. Unpheasant gets its bucket. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Being your opponent in battle is new sorts of fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, 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 mm. She looks fine. She looks so fine. God dang it. Okay, you're an amazing Pokemon trainer. My Pokemon and I are happy because for the first time in a while, we could fight with our full strength. This is an official uh, Pokemon League badge. I think it will look good on you. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. With her. Look at that. The Jet Badge. I think that's what it's called, right? Bam. Alrighty, so we got six badges. Nice. So the gym badge is right there. Wow, hot stuff. With that many gym badges, Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you. Also, as thanks for a Pokemon battle that you made me very happy, I want you to or I want you to have this TM. And we get ourselves the, C the TM62 Acrobatics. A nice move. Kind of like a Volt Switch. My present to you is Acrobatics. If your user doesn't have a held item, uh, it power... Oh, and... Oh wow, I kind of screwed up on that. Okay, so apparently if you have a held item then, or if it doesn't have a held item, the power doubles, okay? It's pretty a uh, technical move. Be sure to compensate for the lack of a held item. By the way, when I flew over, Twist Mountain was on the way to Isra City. Team Plasma, is that the name? Anyway, they were heading for that city. What kind of uh, people are they? The worst. The worst kinds of people. Uh, okay, so Isra City, where you'll find the next gym, is past Route 7, just after you cross Twist Mountain. It's a hop, a skip, and jump when flying, but it's a really challenging walk. Heads up, make sure that you're ready for it. Okay, alright, whatever you say, baby. It's great seeing you again. Now we gotta take our leave, and good god. God dang cannon, oh my god. I'm back, baby. Alright, so that's six badges and all, and, uh, whew! many people look good that or look that good being shot out of a cannon you make it look easy and congratulations on your victory against the gym leader thank you thank you very much alrighty okay so that is it and uh, oh wow scared me you a whole you they may say it's for understanding one another better but what trainers really use battles for is to compete and they hurt each other's Pokemon Am I the only one who finds this terribly painful? Whatever. I'm going to talk to your Pokemon. I've been living with Pokemon since I was born, so it's easier for me to talk to them than people. Because people never, or Pokemon never tell lies. Well, you've never met Sai of the Torrent. <laughs> or Patrick. You know, Patrick from Kanto. Yeah, that guy. Complete liar. Hey, Excadrill. Would you tell me about what, or uh, would you tell me the kind, what kind of a trainer Draven is? Okay, okay, got it. So Draven was born in New Town. Not really, I wasn't born in Pellet Town. 
if you want to get a little technical, Los Angeles, lives with his mom and was given uh, the, Poke the Pokédex to start off his journey to see the world. Still, this Exodrill extra trusts you for some reason. That's good. If every person in Pokémon cared about one another like you two do, I would watch over the future, or I, I could watch over the future of uh, people and Pokemon without having to liberate Pokemon from people who just use them. Gets is, is using Team uh, Team Plasma to search for uh, some special stones: the Light Stone and the Dark Stone. These stones hold the essence of two legendary Pokemon. It is said that when they lost their physical form, they fell into a slumber and were transformed. Now, they wait for the hero's arrival. I shall resurrect the legendary dragon type Pokemon from one of those uh, one of these stones and become its friend. That will show the world that I am the new hero. Everyone will follow what I say. Oh damn. Hey, he's not in his head. Oh shit. Oh wow. My vision is to change the world without using force. Trying to change the world with, by force will just make others resist. If people resist, the the ones uh, that will be hurt are the innocent Pokemon used by foolish trainers. You understand. Not really. Pokemon are not just tools for people to use. They're my buddies. Yeah, they are my buddies. As a result, Pokemon and trainers who care about one another like you and your Pokemon are will be separated. What the fuck? And what breaks my heart? Or what break? What does uh, break my... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And that does break my heart a little. Really? You have a heart? What the hell? Flipping you off by now. Flipping you off, okay. So that was an awkward encounter with N. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be seeing more of them. Pretty damn sure. Okay, so we got six badges, guys. Six badges, and now we have to go straight to Twist Mountain, another place that I am dreading. Let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest badge right here, and let's shine it up real good. So as you can see, we got six badges in all. I'm gonna be shining them up pretty good. As you can see, the first one we got the 15th of March, second one, the 16th, the following one, the 19th, as you can see, we got two at the 19th, and then we got one on the twi or the 17th of, the of April, and today, as I'm recording, let's quicken it up, look at that, I'm gonna shine it up right here, make it look sparkly, I think I've already told you guys that I was surprised about this, look at that, there we go, there we go, shine it up, make it good, there we go, all my Pokemon badges are looking shiny, Everybody's looking shiny, that's right. Okay, so that's six badges in all, and uh, the next mission is we're going to have to go to Twist Mountain, which I'm kind of dreading because it's going to be a long one right there. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.